Champagne Secrets. What's going on, Champagne Gang? This fam confidants. <laughs> Welcome to the Reactoria, where we have fun reacting to and gaining insight on what's going on in the world, on the news, on social media, and even on reality TV. So we're not gonna be in here long. We just jumped in real quick for a little sip, savor, and spill. So on the last episode of Transforming Roly, she had a big girl strip off, right? And I really didn't think about Roly as a stripper until this show, but real talk, I was stuck like glue. And I'm going to do a review of episode three still, but y'all, the world been cutting up. So I had other stories of importance that I had to cover y'all do y'all know how much work it takes to make one of these videos especially when you're doing it by yourself because i have to search for the stories then i gotta make sure the stories are valid i have to find the stories that i really want to cover then i have to create and set up the scenes and the backdrops to match the stories then i have to record the script for the story place the pictures and transitions create the music for the background edit it put everything together and make sure it flows so that y'all can have an experience, baby, listen, <laughs> it's a lot, but I love doing it and I love doing it for y'all. So y'all will definitely get it. Just give me a second because I have a lot of stories right now that I'm really working on, but I would like to, before we continue, pause and say thank you to all of my subscribers who have subscribed to my channel and joined the champagne gang, all my bottle girls and bottle boys. I want to give a special shout out to Progressive One who joined me um, on the live one last night who, and who has been rocking with me from the beginning. So thank you for joining me on the live. It was my first open panel and we will definitely be doing more because I really want to touch base with my confidants and see how you guys are feeling about these stories that I covered because it's not just about hearing my voice, it's about sharing yours too. We are a small channel with a small following trying to make a big impact in the lives of those connected. So make sure you link up, you hear me? <laughs> now back to Roly. So Roly's stage name, for those of you who don't know, is Gia Mayhem. And I think an amazing idea for Roly would be to do a Gia's BBW Mayhem, a big girl review. I would be here for it. I promise you I would. So if you haven't watched the show Transforming Roly, Roly decided to docu-series her bouts <laughs> with Beatrice Kiddo and her Hattori Hanzo swords to get BBLs, plural, because she had several to obtain the results you now see. Stomach lipo, chin lipo, and back lipo surgery. Baby, listen, it was a lot. Do y'all hear me? I feel like I should have called 911 to report asphalt because <laughs> you know we can't say certain words with a deadly weapon because ain't no way C couldn't be me no y'all listen if i can't i dream of genie it away baby i guess it will be here to stay because ain't no way listen laser life on me <laughs> i'll say laser for a thousand alex because i don't like regular needles so there's no way i was undergoing what she went through and what people don't understand is that your results are never guaranteed. They're not. It depends on what your body is willing to tolerate and what it's not. I have a dermal piercing, right? And it rejected three times before I finally got it done in a place where it will hold. Your body makes that decision, not you. Once it has been removed from your body, reinserting it back into your body, that thing becomes a foreign object to your body. You can't control what it holds and what it doesn't. So you haven't heard of the amount of girls who got BBLs and their bodies rejected the fat and it all came back out, huh? All for a quick fix? No way, no way. Mm -mm. I'll take the gym, thank you. But after going through all of these rematches with the baby Katanas, she decides to commemorate her transformation with a strip off. And she brings the big girls out, honey, that she used to strip with, plus, her best friend, who I guess used to be a madam, or is still a madam, whatever it is, she puts together this big girl strip off. She had a billboard put up and they rented out a location. She decided she was gonna give away 5K to the winner. So all of them performed. And my question is, would you watch a BBW review? A big girl's dance off? Because I think it's high time that we start showcasing normal 
natural bodies because everybody doesn't have a big butt and a smile. <laughs> some women, most women, have a side of belly to go with that smile, sprinkled with some love handles and a side of back rolls. <laughs> Y'all better hear me. She got a little bit of stomach, but that's okay. What? She gonna let her what? Come on now. Normalize being okay in your skin and working hard to change what you're not okay with. So it was refreshing to me to see big girls comfortable in their skin because that's what the world needs to see. Not strippers per se, but women who are so secure in their skin and not running for a quick fix like Rolly did and other girls because she wasn't the only one. So here would be my suggestion for Rolly, right? Leave baddies alone and create a BBW review, a big girl review. You don't even have to call it a cabaret. Call it Gia's BBW Mayhem, <laughs> the big girl review. Do y'all know how many men like hell love big girls? All y'all rushing to be snipped like a Barbie whole time. Men looking for a little cushion for they pushing. <laughs> They laying up with some of y'all with these backyard barbecue BBLs feeling like they laying next to a curvy ninja. Titties hard, ass hard, hips hard. Gotta be careful where you squeeze and what you slap because you scared it's gonna snap, crackle, or pop. But then they get with a big girl and Big girl be like, nigga, you ain't said nothing, nigga. What you say, nigga? What? Pop! I got you, nigga. Stop crying, boy. Stop crying. Stop crying, nigga. Hold on, nigga. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, Zeus would be crazy not to let her create it because with all the ish people talk, they gonna tune in to watch it. Come on now. You know the bloggers will report on it. You know the big girls will watch it because people wanna find a reason to be confident in how they look right now. Hell, seeing them made me feel a little bit better about the little cellulite I got in my thighs because being confident in your skin is not what's mass broadcast by the media, by the music industry. What's mass broadcast is instant gratification, instant results and instant change. The industry puts silicone Barbies on, on the pedestal, but then turn around and cheat with the Cabbage Patch Dolls. I'd rather be a Cabbage Patch Doll. <laughs> we tried it with Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girl show, which I actually thought was a pretty good show until they came out and said she was no different from the rest of them. So we need a big girl review. If Vivica Fox can have the black magic, if Jocelyn can have the cabaret, if Uncle Clifford can have the pink, then I think Roly can have Gia's BBW Mayhem big girl review. Rolly, don't you steal my name and not cut me in on some of the proceeds now, Miss Mams. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all when the channel gets bigger, I'm going to start a network with my subscribers, with my confidants, and we're going to bring real shows back to reality TV and really show them how it's done. Because I know my confidants have some ideas. If I have ideas and y'all are attached to me, you're attached to me for a reason. So I know you got ideas too. It's time to come together, build a network, build a community, and show these people how, how it's done for a group of individuals who are like-minded to come together and make some shit pop. If y'all ready to do it, throw some champagne glasses in the chat because it's time to get busy time to stop sitting back and letting stuff happen and start making stuff happen so i'm trying to tell y'all it's about to really get real but what do y'all think about roly starting her own review for the big girl would y'all tune in for it drop in the comments and let me know <laughs> until next time my loves this fam champagne gang oh before we go i do believe i'm gonna go live tonight at 9 30 p.m and what I want to do tonight, because there's so much toxicity that's been going on, so much negativity, so much to drag you down. I think tonight when I go live, I want to launch my brand new champagne letters. So if you want to pull up on us tonight at 930, of course, it's going to be an open panel because my late nights, generally, that's what I want them to be. I want us to come together and have real talk and real conversations about whatever the topic is for the night. So let's come together and have a conversation about these champagne letters and see which letter we're going to be talking about tonight. So pull up 930 Central Standard Time. Confidence. Always remember, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Now raise those glasses, clink, and let's drink till we meet again. 930 tonight Central. Ta-ta. <laughs>